Welcome to launch. I am so glad that you have decided to join us. There is an incredible journey ahead. So this is going to be the introduction video. Basically, it's the first training video. And really what I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video is going to be the history of myself as an agent, the history of the Atlanta real estate meetup that I have, um, and how I started this whole thing and what the intentions are for launch going forward, what you can expect, what kind of resources you'll have access to, and really just to provide an overview. All of the videos after this will be tactical in teaching you how to do things, but it's extremely important that we align on what the intentions are around launch and how it is all structured because it's a unique business and there's no one else that does what we do. So just trying to make sure that we really have alignment and that we're on the same page is very important. And I initially did a recording of this first video, but it was 40 minutes long. I didn't have a professional webcam. Now I do. I didn't have a professional mic. Now I do. So the audio and video should be way better, not only for this video, but particularly videos like 11 through 50. Uh, two through 10 are, are decent. I've got the mic um, and you can hear my audio just fine. I'm not on, ca I'm not on camera that much on those, but um, for this one and you know all the future ones, it'll be a lot better quality content for you guys. So first I wanna start off by saying that I feel a deep sense of personal responsibility to ensure the success of all the agents that decide to partner with Launch. Um, I'll get into my history on a bunch of different things during this call. And this is probably the only one where I do have notes that I'm actually going to follow because there's a lot of things that I wanna to touch on. And the first time I tried to do this, introduction video, it was 40 minutes. I want to keep this one to like 20. So it's just easier to get through. Um, so let's just jump in. Um, let's see. Also, I don't have a professional video editor. So if there's any accidental pauses, uh, bear with me. It is me and, you know, the virtual assistants and digital marketing person I have, but we don't have professional video editing skills yet uh, on our team. So Bear with us the best that you can and forgive any imperfections throughout this. Okay, so even though I don't have a professional video editor and I don't have these videos scripted and I'm not following a script, uh, just some rough notes for this one and even rougher notes on future ones. What I do have is an incredible lead generation system that made me over a million dollars in GCI over the last five years. And I'm gonna share it with you guys step-by-step step in a methodical process so that you can recreate it in your market. So I first became licensed as an agent in 2018 in the fall. And I was doing wholesaling at the time for about nine months through like May of 2019. I had left corporate America in September of 2018. I was working for Home Depot corporate. Before that, I worked in management consulting. I graduated from college from NC State in 2013, go Wolfpack. So I've been an agent now and running this meetup for, <clears throat> excuse me, exactly five years. And in that time, I've done 1.2 million in GCI and 1 million of that is directly from me hosting my meetup and having this combination of being a really good agent and knowing how to host and monetize a real estate meetup and really combining them. And that is really the strategies and systems and expertise that I'm going to be sharing with you guys over the next several, not only weeks and months, but probably years. So. Like many of you, I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I read it in 2016 and wanted to pursue financial freedom and passive income. And it became clear to me that you can either own a company or real estate is the path there. And so I ended up choosing real estate uh, as my route, obviously. But after reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I found Bigger Pockets and I started listening to their podcasts religiously every single week when I was working in corporate in America, sitting in a cube. And I simply wanted more. So I became really passionate about real estate through listening to Bigger Pockets. And I'm very integrated with the Bigger Pockets community today. Um, I worked in management consulting for just one year. Home Depot corporate was three years. And <clears throat> during that time, I made 40K when I came out of college. I made 75K at the age of 28 in 2018 uh, when I left Home Depot corporate. Also, I'm just coming out of getting sick. So um, if I'm still getting my voice back at times, I apologize and just know that I'm doing the best I can with it. So after doing wholesaling for nine months, I learned a lot about lead generation. Um, unfortunately, the partner that I had in that business was stealing money from our company. And so we parted ways and we shut down the business that we had. But during the time that we were doing wholesaling, I got my real estate license 
just in case if I'd ever need it. It was kind of like a backup thing. I never thought that I would actually use it though. But when it became clear that we were closing down the wholesaling business, uh, I was at KW and I was just attending some of the trainings um, and I was walking around the office and they were an open book company at KW. I was there for four years and now I've been at EXP for over a year. And I got access to the books because it's open book and I can see how much people are selling and how much they're making. And I was like, some of these people are making two to $300,000 a year. I thought agents were making 50K a year. I didn't know agents could really make that much. So it was kind of a light bulb moment for me. And I decided I was gonna give it a shot. At first I was doing cold lead generation, calling random people, homeowners in Atlanta, um, from lists that I bought online. And I wasn't getting anything from it. So I realized that I needed a better lead generation system. And so I will get into the meetup here in the next few minutes, but I ended up building my entire real estate agent business around the meetup and I haven't really seen anyone else do it. And it's been so effective. And I quickly catapulted to being in the top 10 agents in my KW office in my first full year as an agent. And a lot of these people have been doing this way longer than me. And I was young, I was still in my 20s. So I was like, I really got something here. Um, so realizing that I needed a better lead generation system is when I started to pivot to um, really doing lead generation on the people in my real estate meetup. So at that time I had been given my meetup, I'd been given it in May of 2018. So I had it for maybe like a year and I wasn't, I was running my meetup for free for a year and a half. I wasn't doing any lead gen on it and even working as an agent for the first year and a half that I made the meetup uh, or that I, that I was uh, operating the meetup. And so <clears throat> what launch is going to end up being is a combination of agent coaching and meetup coaching because you have to have both. So it's a very interesting blend here. And uh, sorry, just give me one sec. <coughs> Tried to mute it, but I couldn't. I'm still like coughing a little bit as I'm getting my voice back. So again, I'm sorry. I have a chai latte and it's not helping. Anyway, when I was a new agent at KW, I had an assistant team leader in my office. Her name was Cara Epstein. To this day, we stay in touch. And she gave me the agent coaching that taught me a lot of the fundamentals and systems that I'm going to be sharing with you guys because it works and it's really, really, really effective. And it's extremely effective when it's integrated into the meetup model. And so it's going to be really interesting and fun to see you kind of put these things together and get the same results that I've had. So Car was in my office. I paid her 10% of my GCI. Uh, so it's more than you guys are paying to launch. I paid her $17,000 my first full year as an agent because I did 170 in GCI and you guys are paying less than that. Um, and I didn't get everything that you guys are gonna be getting. So you guys have a really good deal with this, but she was doing 300K GCI as a solo agent in her late twenties. So I wanted to learn from her. And the video playlist that I'm uh, putting together and we'll have for you guys, will cover all the training resources that you need. Some will be agent coaching, some will be meetup coaching, some will be on lead gen, some will be on managing your Facebook group, uh, some will be on you know vendors and additional revenue opportunities that we have with you partnering with us at launch. And so we're gonna cover a wide variety of topics on the training videos, but I think that you guys are really gonna enjoy having access to all of our training on demand in a systematized way that goes step by step by step in little chunks so that I can give it to you over the course of uh, a few months. So this video playlist uh, is the primary training resource that I have for you guys as you're starting out with launch. And with these systems and models that I'm gonna be teaching you, I sold over $40 million and more than 100 houses through my local real estate meetup. So the Atlanta one, is really the first one. And I'll be getting to that here in just a little bit. Uh, I also wanted to mention that I've hosted my meetup 76 times. So all of the experience that I have from hosting mine and all the knowledge and insights that I also get from talking to the other agent partners that have meetups in other parts of the country, I'm really, really getting incredible insight and knowledge into really doing every single part of the meetup and lead generation process perfectly or as well as you can. And that's a really strong competitive advantage because nobody else has that kind of knowledge and insight. So you guys will really be benefiting from the 20,000 phone calls that I've made, more than 100 houses that I've sold with this model, the 76 meetups that I've hosted, the 3,200 people that are in my meetup today and what I've learned from them and managing them over the last five years and having that all condensed down in a format that summarizes what all the 
takeaways, the best practices are, it's going to be really helpful for you guys. So as part of launch, you guys are going to have access to our mastermind Facebook group, which I think is going to be extremely valuable. Launch is going to grow and evolve over time, and we will probably have more products and services than we have today because as of the time that I'm recording this, launch is only a few weeks old, and already we have a ton of people signing up, insane demand. Uh, we don't accept every person that wants to sign up. We, ha we make sure that it's the right fit because they're entering into a partnership with us where we have to trust that they're going to do the activities that are required to make their meetup successful, and they are on a reflection they're a reflection on our brand. So it's really important that we partner with incredible people. The long-term vision for launch is I want to have 300 meetup locations. So this will be the largest interconnected network of real estate meetups in the United States. The nationwide NIA, uh, RIA network, you know, you've got local RIA chapters in most cities. They have 140, but we're gonna be larger than that. And we're gonna be a lot better. They've got this old stale model, um, all the people that run it, all the people that host it, all those people are in their fifties and just, you know, it's just not the same kind of vibe that we have with our meetups. We've got more of a young professionals uh, kind of vibe where most of the people coming to the meetups are, you know, between 25 and 35, they're buying their first home. They're just getting into real estate investing. They're buying their first or second house hack. Um, I'd say maybe five to 10% of the meetup is extremely experienced. They will be some of the people that you decide to, call upon to have as speakers at your events, they will be some of the pillars and cornerstones of your meetup and what makes it good and why people enjoy going there, networking, meeting with those types of people. But it's going to be a lot of newer home buyers, investors, and professionals that are in their 20s and 30s. We get some people in their 40s. We don't really uh, have many people that are older than that, but everybody's welcome. It's an open door. Um, so as I had mentioned before, it took me five years to hunt it took me five years to hit $1 million in lifetime GCI from my meetup. So the goal that I have that um, I hope that you can all achieve through having your own meetup is to become a golden meetup, which is $1 million in lifetime GCI. It may take five to seven years. I'm sure it's possible that some meetups might not hit it. It might depend on the lead generation activities they're doing and the size of their market, the size of their meetup. But our meetup started from zero in Atlanta, and you can see the timeline in the launch pitch deck that we have of how it grew over time. But truthfully, even if your meetup only has a thousand people, and it'll take most of you probably two years to get to a thousand, but when you get to a thousand people, that's enough that you should be doing over 100K in GCI from that database. And so it's only a matter of time five, seven, 10 years, but I'm going to push you towards five and hope that you can do that because that's what I did. I did it in five. But if you do it even in seven, you know, that's phenomenal. If you have a lead generation system that gives you a lifetime revenue of a million dollars, I think that's really great. And that's just on commission. That's not even the other methods that we're going to talk about. So Gary Keller, owner of Keller Williams, would teach you that your database is your business. And I really took that to heart when I was learning at KW. This meetup fills your database with contacts and leads. And I'm going to teach you how to do that and then also how to convert those into sales. And even though I'm with eXp uh, today, the fundamentals of what I learned at KW were really, really critical for learning how to build the database and systematically market to those people in my database to, to convert them into home buyers and sellers. I created a meetup expansion in Houston in 2022. Uh, his name was Dylan, he was with eXp, and he did 120 in GCI in his first year. And um, the reason that I have launch structure today where we have you sign contracts that you can't steal our intellectual property and you have to stay in partnership with us or that you have to give the meetup back to us and that I have ownership of the Facebook group as admin status and you're a moderator for the Facebook group is because I told Dylan from the time that we started, hey, I'm going to teach you how to make six figures a year with this lead gen system. And the only way that it's fair for me is if we are partnered together for the long term, I will help you make 500K with this or more, but you have to stay linked with me and partnered on. After a year, after he learned everything that he needed to know, he blocked me from the Facebook group, blocked my number and continued doing everything without me. So because that happened, I have to make sure that I'm structuring all these launch meetups in a way where that can't happen in the future. I definitely have a sense of fairness in mind when I created launch and all the systems around it, which is if I'm going to create a lead generation system for you guys, there are hundreds, there are thousands of agents in every single one of your markets. And I'm picking one of you. 
And so my ask is, you know, if I'm choosing you to be our launch partner for your market, and if I'm going to give you a lead generation system that's going to make you hundreds of thousands of dollars, my ask in return is that you continue to stay on and pay the annual fee because it's going to be a profitable business model for you. And the only way that it's worth it for me and that it can work is if you guys stand for the long term, years. I'm talking a decade. Is I haven't figured out how launch meetups will eventually. I don't think they'll ever, they'll never leave because they're making so much money. It just wouldn't make sense. Like, I mean, I'm going to, I purposely have this structured. So you guys are going to be getting a very high ROI. Um, and if you're not, we're going to fix it and make sure that you do. So I'm not going to let you guys fail. As long as you guys are hosting the events and doing the lead gen calls, um, and following the systems models we have, I just don't see these meetups not succeeding. I haven't had one fail yet, but because of what we had happen with Dylan, we have to be a little bit more strict on how these things are set up. Um, because that was a very unfortunate thing that happened. And if I give you guys a lead gen system, that's going to make you 500 K over the next four to five years. And then you left after six months, I only got like three K that's just not fair. So the way I look at it is, you know, a Zillow premier agent is taking a 40% cut. I'm not doing that. You know, when you're on teams, it's a 50, 50 split. I'm not doing that. You know, this annual fee is very affordable and we're powering your lead gen in such a big way. Um, I just, I hope that you guys will never leave. I really don't want to ever lose agent partners. Honestly, I want to build this to be 300 people and I want, you know, everyone to stay. I want them all to be part of this journey from the start to the end. So just to set expectations on what you guys will have coming up next, the first few weeks will be really, really busy and it's all new to you. The first 60 to 90 days will be the busiest overall. After that, it should start to slow down a little bit because you'll be in a rhythm with hosting your events participating in the Facebook group, you'll have everything set up, you'll have your materials, you'll have your event pages, etc. cetera. Um, the only way for me to lead launch is truthfully to give you all the systems and information uh, so that you can run it very well. So I'm going to be giving you a lot of, um, you know, intellectual property that is dangerous for me to hand out, but that's why you're signing onboarding contracts that you can't go off and do these meetups without me. And basically you can't stab me in the back because I could either withhold information from you, but then your meetup wouldn't be as good and you wouldn't make as much. Or I can tell you everything that I know and be truthful with you guys and you will become superstars and crush it. But that does create risk for me because I'm giving you the secret sauce. I'm giving you the formula to Coca-Cola, however you want to put it. The recipe for the Krabby Patty, if any of you were lived in the 90s and remember SpongeBob. Anyway. Um, I do believe that you guys will probably get a 10x to 20x ROI on launch. So what that means is if your annual membership fee is six, $7,000 a year, whatever it is, you know, are you going to do 70, 80 a year in GCI for sure? Will many of you do 150? Yes. So that puts you in that 10 to 20 range. And then there's referrals and other things we'll get to in a few minutes. So the meetup is the best gift that I've ever been given. And my hope for all of you is that you will see that it is the greatest gift that you all have ever been given. Um, the Facebook group, again, will be um, owned by me, but the Eventbrite and Meetup and other profiles will be managed by you guys because it's extremely difficult for me to manage 500 or 1,000 event hosting profiles. Some things will be centralized and some things will be decentralized. So, And Launch will continuously evolve over time. It's a very nimble company and we're very agile. Uh, we decided not to do referral fees because I thought 25% on each deal that you do is too expensive and not fair. Um, and we don't want to track down referral forms. Um, and again, I talked about Zillow premier agent, how much they charge for those and you don't own your business. Zillow owns it. So I don't know. I just didn't like Zillow's model for how they give you leads. If you're an agent on a team and, and the team gives you Zillow leads you're, and you got the broker split, you're only getting like a 30% cut on your deals. So like that's poverty. I'm not going to do that to you guys. Um, the, the annual fee. It sounds expensive because you're paying it out in cash, but it's way cheaper than splits. If I charged you guys a 20% split on launch, you're going to be doing 150 in GCI. You're, you'd be paying me 30K a year instead of six or seven. So it's like, this is better for you guys. And I designed it this way on purpose. Um, this meetup worked in 2019 before COVID. It worked during the pandemic. It worked during the inflation of 22 and 23. It worked during the lowest home sales environment of all time from 22 to 24. So this market, uh, this meetup is a powerhouse. It's resilient. It's recession proof. 
it's inflation proof, and it's pandemic proof. I want you to name another business that can check all those boxes. I've been making two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars a year as a solo agent with really terrible marketing skills in all of those environments because of how good the meetup is. So that should help encourage you guys that you're going to be just fine. And what have we got next year? One of the things I also want to mention is as long as you're signed on with launch as well, we won't launch another meetup in your market. So, uh, one of the things I'm most excited for, for launch is to launch our Houston expansion so that we can, uh, cut Dylan's meetup in half because I told him not to get greedy. He agreed that he would stay on for years and he didn't. And so I'm going to launch a new Houston meetup. It's going to be better than Dylan's meetup because we're way more advanced now than we were at that time in 2022. And his meetup will be cut in half. Someone else in Houston that is with launch will be doing 150 or 200 year GCI from it. And he could have just stayed on and followed his promise and said what he was going to do. But instead, you know, that's what's going to happen. So I don't want to do that to other people in other markets. Um, launch is a really interesting two for one, because if you have the launch meetup in your market, other agents in your market don't have it. So you're getting market share and mind share and taking over and became, becoming known as like the person in your real estate market. Like you host the event for your city. Um, and that's really, really, really powerful. And not only do you have it, but your competitor doesn't have it. And so you pretty much have a two for one advantage there. Uh, launch will help to create marketing materials for database touches. So I'm actually going to have someone that will be uh, creating sample text and email templates, uh, Facebook posts that can be put into your Facebook groups. So we will actually do that because you all have the same needs and I can hire someone uh, who can create these marketing materials for us and then push it out to all the meetups. We'll probably have it all uploaded to a Google drive or in the file section of our mastermind Facebook group. Um, so you'll have two Facebook groups basically. And that's the big part of this for launch, the mastermind Facebook group with all the other uh, launch agent partners, and then your local Facebook group where all your meetup members are joining and where you're posting your events into there. And that's like your local community launch will create uh, the training video video playlist, which is what you're watching right now about how to lead your meetup and how to manage it and how to do lead gen. Uh, launch will have weekly group Zoom calls where you can join, ask questions and learn. And launch will also create centralized logos and marketing materials like your Facebook cover photos and meetup.com and Eventbrite as well so that we have streamlined marketing. Um, and we will have way more things in the future as well. We're working on building a website. We're going to have a blog that will create educational content. And we might build out more things above and beyond that. We're probably going to have a course library where creators create courses and then they get pushed out to the meetups and then launch and the creator and the host all have revenue sharing. Um, but that is something that could be really cool as well because the meetups are free. So this could be a way to have some of your members pay if they want uh, deeper education and systems on specific things. Let's see what you will do as an agent partner, watch the training videos so that you learn how to do everything, host 12 meetups per year that is required. You want to have a backup meetup host um, that is just someone who's part of your meetup that is always there, that is social and loves the meetup. That if you ever get sick, um, that really honestly has to be like the only excuse. It can't be like, oh, I'm missing it because of this or that. You, you can't miss these things. It is critical. You're the face of the meetup and you're hosting these and you're face to face with 50 people once a month. You got to build your life around this thing. Really? Um, I hosted the meetup 76 times and I missed it once last month when I was super sick with COVID and I couldn't even speak. I literally couldn't talk. That was the only time that I had someone else sub in for me. So I'm 75 for 76, but you do, you, you have to have a backup person. If you get in a car accident, um, if you're very sick, something like that, you know, um, I, it's just really important to have that. I'll create a training video specifically on how to get a backup host and how to facilitate that. But, um, that's put us in a tough bind a few times. So, uh, I just wanted to mention that. So your 12 monthly meetups, and then also you have to make quarterly phone calls to your database members. This is critical and it's required. If you don't do this, you're not following the launch systems and you're not going to make money from this. It's not going to work. Um, you have to maintain a CRM of all of your contacts in your database 
And in that database, all your meetup members will be tagged as meetup. And then you will call all of them once per quarter. And that's how you're really going to convert the top of the funnel contacts and leads into sales. You'll be executing a 36 touch plan on all of your meetup members. So it's not just four phone calls. There will be 32 other touches. And we will get to that in future videos. Meetup history. So it was started by Jared Sturm. He was on the Bigger Pockets podcast three times. He's an apartment deal syndicator. He reached a uh, net worth of over $10 million by the age of 30 and financially free by the age of 30. He still works full time though, managing uh, his syndication company that does big apartment deals, SNS Capital. And Jared started the meetup in Atlanta in 2017, ran it for a year and a half. And I was a super connector at the meetup, but I was a newbie. I was there for a year and a half just as an attendee. And I added so much value and was so involved. He eventually chose me to take over the meetup in May of 2018 when they had 300 members. And I've since grown it from 300 to 3,000. I started working full-time as an agent in 2019. 2020 was my first full year as an agent. So 2019, I only worked the second half of the year as an agent. I did 50K in GCI. 2020 was my first full year of the meetup agent combination. I did 170 top 10 agent in my office for KW out of 400 agents or 350. 2021, my second full year with this strategy, 300K GCI. The next year, another 300 in GCI. The rest is history. And in 2023, I started to think about expansion meetups and launching this all over the country and partnering with other agents, but I couldn't figure out the model. And in 2024, I really, really, really started mapping things out, trying to work through decision points and really finally felt ready to, you know, make the commitment to each of you that I'm going to help you succeed in this and I'm not going to let you guys down and I'm not going to let you fail. It's a big responsibility. I see myself as a leader and I feel responsibility for the people that I am leading. So it, you guys, some of you might not know me. Many of you do. This really started on a foundation of people that have known me for years and have seen me run my meetup. And because they've seen how I work, they've seen how I run my meetup, they immediately wanted to partner and have a meetup of their own because they know, number one, it works. Number two, I know how to do it. And number three, that uh, I am, I am going to be a good leader for them and I'm not going to let them down and I'm going to follow through. And that if I'm doing this and if I'm telling you to join me, it's because it's something incredible and I'm completely positive that it's going to work. And, you know, this is out there on my Facebook, my Instagram. I've texted everyone in my database. It's posted in my meetup group. It's posted in my GoBundance mastermind. Everyone who's ever known me in my entire life knows that I'm doing this. So the sense of responsibility is, you know, it's so high and I'm going to make sure that you guys succeed in this. And if you guys are struggling, I'm there. Like I will help you guys. We got the Facebook group, uh, you know, you got my phone number. I will make, you got all the training videos. I'll make sure you guys get what you need. So if this thing fails, it could only possibly be for one of three reasons. You're not hosting the meetups. You're not making the quarterly phone calls to your members or you're in a market that just is so small that people aren't coming to the meetup and signing up. And that hasn't happened yet. I will probably eventually find out how small of a market is too small, but that hasn't happened yet. So if it ever does, we'll figure that out in the future. Um, something that's been really cool is because the meetup has been so successful. I became an accredited investor. My income has been high enough because of the meetup that, um, I now am an accredited investor and I can invest in large apartment deals. So something that's been really cool is I came full circle. I now am an investor in some of the apartment deals that Jared does. So I went from being a newbie at the Atlanta real estate meetup, sitting in the back, having no experience to now running the largest real estate meetup in Atlanta, creating the largest network of real estate meetups in the country and being an investor personally in the deals that Jared does. And Jared handed off the meetup to me six years ago. And he texted me uh, this past week and he said, um, and this is one of the greatest compliments I've ever, ever received. He said, I knew I was planting the right seed when I decided to pass the meetup uh, to you and hand it off to you. And all the credit goes to you for doing it. Uh, and I really wanted someone who would make the most of it. So that gets me right in the heart. And, uh, you know, I feel proud that I made Jared proud because, you know, um, none of this would have happened without him. And I hope that all of you, you know, I'll bring him, I'll bring him onto a Zoom for all of you guys at some point. And that's going to be really fun. 
So moving on, revenue opportunities with launch. GCI, hundreds of thousands of dollars per year if you're really good and if you're in a good size market. Um, realistically, my projection for all of you guys is like 100K per year in GCI. I'm doing 200. So if you're really, really, really good, maybe you can do 200. Maybe you're better than me. I think some of you honestly are probably better agents than me. Um, I'm not the best agent. I'm a really good agent. I am one of the best agents in Atlanta, but I'm not the best. I'm not number one. I do think that there's a few agents that I've met that I'm just like blown away by. Well, I'm like, wow, like this person's just so incredible. And I don't think I'll ever be as good as that person, but you know, um, it always gives you, you know, people to look up to, but anyway, GCI, that's number one. That is probably a 100 K to 200 K per year opportunity. But even if you only sold four or five homes a year from your meetup, that's 60 K a year. And that's a 10 X ROI. And that's, better than any other lead gen source that you probably have now, but I think that you guys will do better than that. Number two is referral fees. Uh, I'm making 20,000 a year ish in referral fees from my meetup. And sorry, I think I got something in my eye. Um, I'm doing 20,000 a year in referral fees from my meetup ish. So I think referral fees have a good chance of covering the full cost for most of you guys. I think most of you guys will be making 10,000 a year just on referral fees. People move, people come to your meetup because they just moved to Atlanta. Or, you know, during the meetup because they're interested in investing, sometimes in other markets, you get referral fees on those inbound, outbound. Um, that's huge. So the people in your meetup, those referral fees, then the referral fees between the meetup leaders, that also is going to be so valuable. If we have 100 or more uh, expansion meetups, you know, the launch agents are going to refer people to each other. And that's going to be a huge thing. I've already sent referrals out to Jacksonville and Peachtree City, which are our first two expansion meetups, and Charlotte, which is our third expansion meetup. Um, so I'm already doing it like right as launch is already starting. So that's going to be there for you guys. Um, that's going to be really fun. Next one is downline. Today I'm at EXP Realty. So um, you know, if you're at a company like EXP where there's downline revenue, each agent that I refer or recruit into EXP and they're a decent capping agent that does, you know, I don't know, 80K a year GCI, sells seven houses a year, pretty average. I would get 4,000 a year in revenue sharing. If they bring in someone who's also a capper and is decent, that's another 2,000 or 2,500, I think, from them. It goes seven levels deep. So like my friend Shelby makes $75,000 a year in passive income just from downline revenue. Um, mine is usually around 10,000. So the downline or the referral fees will probably cover your cost of launch alone. Now we got vendor fees. I have a preferred vendor list for a meetup that makes about $10,000 per year. I'm gonna figure out some way that we can centralize the vendor program for the launch meetups. And I'm gonna build that, I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna figure out a way that you guys can have that so that I can give you guys revenue sharing and profit sharing through the vendors that wanna be preferred vendors for your local meetups. Next is affiliate fees. That might be something like there is a real estate uh, coaching program or something that we partner with and on a certain topic, or, you know, maybe someone has a MTR course or an Airbnb course and we roll it out to the meetups. And then anyone who signs up, like, you know, launch and the meetup hosts are getting affiliate fees. Last is courses we create. Um, there may be a section of the course, or there, there may be a section of the launch website that has a course library. And that might be something that we roll out to uh, meetups where people can sign up for it. So getting closer to the end here, goals. The goals that I have for all of you is a 10x or greater ROI per year. Can I promise you that? I can promise you that it'll be profitable. I don't see any way that this would be an unprofitable business model for any of you guys. Almost every single person that I've told this, uh, told launch about to has wanted to sign up for it and it hasn't failed yet in a single market. So my goal for all of you is a 10x or greater ROI. And that's so great that I hope that you would never want to leave uh, the launch partnership and mastermind that we have. Uh, my goal is also that eventually, this is more of a stretch goal, but my goal is that you will have a lifetime GCI of $1 million from your meetup and become a golden meetup. Maybe we'll call it something else in the future. I don't know. It's called launch. Maybe like that's you getting to, to Mars. Uh, I don't know. We'll think of something fun. We're going to have a nationwide Instagram uh, website and platform that connects all of our markets and all of our members and shares education and connections. Uh, we will have courses. We talked about that strategic vendor partnerships, internal referral network. Also, if you guys refer agent partners that sign on with lunch, we will give you a thousand dollar credit back on your annual membership fee. So it's a way for you guys to earn some of that back just like that. And you guys will know who's a good match for this based on seeing it and doing it yourself. The goal is to have a network of 300 interconnected meetups and be the largest network of real estate, uh, real estate investing meetups in the United States. 
Our goal is to have a blog and website for members, hosts, and creators to use. And one of my big goals is to give people incredible careers. I'm going to be hiring employees and VAs and assistants and all sorts of people to help out with building this business. So uh, in the earlier stages, it's smaller. It's me and a small team of part-time or virtual assistants helping to build this thing and manage it all. And as it grows, you know, we will have more and more people. And that's another reason that Launch has to generate revenue from the meetups and from the other things that we create and push out to you guys is Launch has to create revenue so that we can hire more people so that we can create, you know, a better environment and more services and more opportunities, more marketing materials, just a better uh, mastermind and overall experience for you as an agent partner. Uh, I want to be able to hire people and have the, the, the cash flow to be able to do that. Um, so you guys can have, you know, what you deserve, which is a really great experience in partnering with Launch. There will be many videos in this training playlist, and I'm going to teach you as much as possible at scale, a one-to-many uh, teaching method. So that is me creating videos, it's me doing webinars, it's me posting on the Facebook group, you know, because right now, today, it's easy when we have five of you guys, you can call me, whatever. But when we have 100 or 200 or 300 meetups, you know, I have to teach 95% of the content in this format of videos so that all of you can watch it whenever you're free on your own time and you'll have pretty much all the knowledge that you need. And then, you know, as you have random specific questions, they can be posted in the Facebook group or you can reach out to me, but I'm trying to make, um, the video playlist, the primary learning tool for you guys. I think it'll be the most scalable and the most effective because I am still doing, uh, what you guys are gonna be doing. I have a meetup. I'm working full time as an agent. Uh, I'm one of the top agents in Atlanta by sales volume. And I also have the largest real estate meetup in Atlanta. I run the Atlanta REI meetup and I'm also the founder and CEO of launch. So I'm very busy. So I have to be crafty and creative and try and come up with teaching methods that are scalable and effective. So I will do the best I can to get you all the content possible in these training videos. Uh, this will probably be the second longest one. The longest one is episode three, which is about actually creating your first event. I'm also trying to put these videos in order by working with the uh, newest meetup hosts that we've onboarded and seeing what their questions and challenges and problems are in the very early stages of them starting. And I'm trying to answer as many of those questions as I can in the first three to five videos so that when you guys are coming on, all of the right now getting started questions are hopefully being answered within the first few videos. So thank you for joining. I'm excited to be in partnership with you. I'm excited to get your launch meetup started. And as I mentioned before, the meetup is the greatest gift that I've ever been given. It is the gift that keeps on giving. It just continuously churns out leads, relationships, partnerships, closings, and opportunities, friendships, mentorships, I mean, everything. It's just this incredible thing that continually spins off opportunity, money, and connections. And it's truly life-changing. It will become a part of who you are. Eventually when your meetup gets big enough, uh, you'll be out in public and some random person will see you and recognize you because you run the meetup. That has happened to me. That's happened to me in Atlanta, probably about a hundred times. And just a funny story to cap things off and finish it. And then we'll close out this first episode. Uh, I was at an Atlanta United soccer game here in Atlanta uh, last fall. And I got to the concession stand um, to order a beer and I had forgotten my wallet at my seat with my sister. And it was like pretty far away. And as soon as I'm realizing that I didn't have my card and I left it at my seat, I was like, dang it. Cause I'd already ordered a beer. Um, some random person like 50 feet away is kind of running towards me. They're like, Vince, Vince, it's me from the meetup. Can I buy you a beer? And they did. And so that's probably my favorite meetup story. And it just goes to show how crazy this network is, but you guys are going to really enjoy this, I think. And uh, I'm really excited to have you on board. So thanks for trusting me. Thanks for joining us. And it is going to be a truly incredible journey ahead. And I'm excited for you to get started.